Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Shukra and this is going to be a video about my Long Chomp Le Pliage original tote bag. I'm going to go over details about the bag, what I recommend it, pros, cons, and my history with the bag. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. So this is what the bag looks like. I have it in large and I have it in black. So this is their original and this is in their large size right here so looks like this and the back it has like a button over here because this bag is meant to be folded up if you want to travel with it and you want to put it in your suitcase you can just fold it up so when i open the bag up there is no like you know um compartments it's pretty much a big hole <laughs> like this it has like a little um bag well not bag a little like section right here but besides that there's not too much going on and then in the back over here it also has like a bigger like you know flap for you to put things in but other than that like it's pretty much a big hole <laughs> so this is made of nylon and this is very durable for like you know rain if you want to take it to the beach it's essentially a like you know really good tote bag to use whenever and however you know it's good for the rain and it's not going to scratch up so this is what my large le pliage looks like so let's go into my history with this bag i feel like that's a good thing to start off for you guys so you guys will understand why i recommend this bag so i'm already gonna let you know i recommend this bag first version of this bag original large same style that i picked up i picked up early on i think when i was about to start undergrad i picked it up in purple I had that for a couple of years and that bag was stolen so I was like, okay, I want another one. You know, I really like this tote bag. I use this bag to carry like a lot of my books. Yeah, I did use this a lot in college to carry books and stuff. So I was like, I want another one. Picked up another one. So instead of purple this time, I picked it up in gunmetal. And I rocked with that bag for so many years, used it a lot. I used it even in grad school too. So that was a great bag. I think I... I think my sister has that bag right now, actually. So then I was like, oh, I want another one. <laughs> so then I picked up another one and I picked that one up in gunmetal, I believe. No, <laughs> I picked that one up in black. So literally, same exact, this one right here, same exact color model. That was my third one I picked up. So I picked it up and then I would have to say maybe like, two months in not even two months that bag was stolen so i was like okay you know what i think i'm good you know that was my third one of this bag i was like i'm good first one was stolen second one i gave it to my sister third one stolen i'm good a couple years later i'm like you know what i still want like a nice tote and i really do still like this bag then that's when i picked it up again so this is my fourth one in black large original le pliage so i'm guessing your question is why do i keep going back to this tote why am i on my fourth one why haven't i tried a different tote okay i have tried different totes but i can go into those other totes i have but why is this one a fan favorite of mine i have to say i I think because it's very simple, but at the same time classic, you know, and I always go for the original. I always go in the large size. I've never gone to a smaller size or their backpacks or the other things they have. I like how long and big the shoulder strap is because as a tote, you put a lot of things in here. So I like that. I like how big it is. Um, one thing I guess I don't really like too much is the fact that there's not too many compartments inside. So it's kind of like, you know, a big gaping hole, but you can manage and you can always get an organizer too, if you need one. But I have to say, the only thing to worry about with my second one, the gunmetal one, it's the edges right here. They could like, you know, um, start to wear. So keep that in mind too. But they do have a thing going on with Longchamp where you can get it repaired. So 
that's a good added thing but I just have to say it's the durability it's the fact that it's made on nylon and you don't have to care too much about it you can get it wet all that stuff is not gonna like easily tear or scratch and it comes in a variety of colors that are pretty neutral so that's great too you can wear it with anything this can be worn and used any season it's not like you know just a winter bag or whatever and I do just yeah I love it so overall, if you're on the fence on what type of tote to get, and usually totes, we want them to be pretty durable and we don't want to baby them too much. So I would definitely say go for this, go for the long chomp le pliage and you know it's really worth your while and it's not expensive either this isn't i wouldn't consider this a designer bag you know maybe a little bit more of a high-end bag but not a designer bag but it's still very durable and worth your money so it's like oh over a hundred i believe it's not it's not two hundred dollars i'm pretty sure <laughs> unless the price went up but yeah so definitely recommend this and i just wanted to give you guys this quick video because you know i've always been rocking this tote and it's a timeless you know tote to have bag to have even if you don't want it in the tote you can get it in the smaller versions in the book bags too so yep so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, just me recommending uh, this bag for you guys or this line. You know, you don't have to go with just the original, like I said. And yeah, so it's pretty good. And if you wear a lot of gold jewelry, it's gold when it comes to this. Or if you don't like how it's a different color um, compared to the rest of the bag, they do have the series, which I believe the color matches exactly like, you know, the... Um, outer part of the nylon too so there's not a contrast if you're interested in that as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you if this is your first time watching please make sure to hit the subscribe button and come back for more videos and also please make sure to hit the like button as well bye